Hey Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for mid-December 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Cancer. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs. You can book a personal reading with me. If you're interested in that, all the information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that for general readings, the roles can be reversed. So let's see, Cancer, what is the overall energy for you? Second half of December, we have pause. Okay. So somebody's taking a break, um, just kind of pressing pause, possibly to think, to let things settle. We'll see. Definitely things are kind of like at a standstill at the moment. So let's see what this is about for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of December, 2021. All right. For the situation, we have the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you know, I feel like something was about to shift here. Something was about to shift. And just when it was about to shift, somebody um, pulled back their cup, right? Somebody that may have been coming forward, opening up emotionally. It's like then it was suddenly just stopped is what I'm getting here. Um, it could be that there was a fear of change or a fear of that shift or of where this wheel was turning. Let's see, for your recent past, we have the Three of Swords, your current energy, <clears throat> the Ace of Pentacles, and coming up in the near future, we have the world. Okay, yeah, so you were in, <clears throat> you felt pain from this. I feel like this may have been something in the past, or maybe you were feeling this pain, this hurt from before, and then things felt like they were shifting only to be halted again. Um, I do see you being feeling a little bit better in the current energy, okay? So for some of you, though, this could be coming up if this is the current energy for the second half of December. Um, yeah, it's like you're, you're either seeing the potential for this or you're seeing a new potential just overall for yourself. We'll see. But there, you're definitely moving into an energy of some kind of a completion of a cycle, so it could be that that wheel is suddenly, yeah, turning and completing that, that shift. We'll see. Um, for your person, recent past, we have the Page of Pentacles. Um, the present, we have the Ace of Wands. And near future, we have the Tower. All right, and the potential outcome, we have the Moon. Okay, so Pisces energy showing up here. Um, yeah, I feel like this person in the recent past was possibly just, you know, not giving much to this connection. Again, the roles can be reversed, so take it as it resonates. But I feel like there, there was like a very slow progression or they were just not giving much to this in one way or another, whatever that would mean to each of you. Interesting that you both have an ace um, for the current energy, so it does feel like there's something new here, right? This person is definitely feeling the passion. I feel like you're taking a more practical approach, trying to think more practically, whereas this person is feeling that fire. They're feeling this passion. Um, but coming up though, they're facing this tower, whereas you're facing the world. Okay, very interesting. Something is definitely shifting. Whatever this wheel was over here, and for some of you, it might not even have been what you thought it was going to be. You may have thought that that sh whatever things were shifting towards that it was something that it was going to be something different, but then it stopped, so you never really got to see what where, what that was going to lead to, and I feel like it's actually leading to something that you're not expecting. I don't know what. <laughs> um hopefully we'll get some kind of information here, but I have a feeling it's going to be different for each of you, but that it, whatever it is it's going to be unexpected. Um, cause yeah, cause then we also have the, um, moon for the potential outcome. So it's like a mystery. Let's clarify. Let's see. Let's 
Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Alright, so for some of you it felt like this shift that was happening was moving more towards happiness, fulfillment, um, releasing the burdens, and that things were getting on the right path, and then it was halted and there was this pause. For others of you it's actually the opposite. For some of you, it felt like things were just about to be done. Or even now, and this is, because this can totally be the current energy, feeling that now things are, you're letting go. That there's this energy of letting go of the possibility of happiness with this person or within this connection and moving on a new path. It's going to be, for some of you, it's going to be the first scenario. For others of you, it's going to be the second scenario. But there's definitely um, a shift here that feels like it's happening, but it's like somebody just isn't fully giving that, that cup. Hmm. Let's see the Three of Swords for your recent past. Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you know, you were hurt because you did, You felt like you were confused about where this was going and what this person was able to give to this connection. They weren't, and apparently they were not giving much. It, felt, it feels like there was some kind of effort, but it was never 100%. Like, it, it never really yielded any fruit, and this left you confused as to where this is going and what's happening. So it's like there's been some pain in the recent past for you because of that. So I actually feel like this Wheel of Fortune is more of a current energy for most of you. This is um, that that pain beginning to feel like at the moment, like, okay, you know, this is possible. The wheel is turning. Um, you know, maybe we can, um, you know, release whatever from the past. You know, that's kind of done. Um, whatever happened. And now we're moving towards happiness, getting on the right path. And that's why you both have these aces here. However, it's like it, it still feels like there's something a little bit missing. That's what I'm getting. It might feel okay for the most part, but I feel like on an emotional aspect, you feel like it could have been a little bit better. Or maybe it's the other person. We'll see. Because I see them being in a little bit more of a passion here and you're being in a more practical, but... Let's see. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles for you. Yeah, I see. I see. Okay, because you have the Temperance, the Ace of Swords, and the Sun. So, yeah, I feel like you're taking a more practical approach in the sense that you're trying to keep some kind of a balance. You're trying not to expect too much. You're trying to be patient. You do want action, and because you have another ace here, um, you definitely feel like this is moving forward in a very um, positive way. And I mean, there is a completion. There is a completion of that wheel turning. So yeah, I do feel like, I mean, at least for, for now it's looking positive. Yeah, you're, you're willing at the moment to allow this to unfold. You're being patient. Let's see for them. See that Page of Pentacles in their recent past. All right, we have Strength in the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, they were holding back. All right, because Strength can oftentimes be um, um, holding yourself back, trying to discipline yourself and holding yourself back from, from doing something that you want, okay? Not always, but that's what I'm getting here, especially together with this Two of Pentacles. Um, because it wasn't easy for them to be giving so little, but for whatever reason, and, and I feel like it's not important at the moment, this person was holding back, not giving much. It could be that it was, it felt a little um, too intense or just too much for them to be able to handle. 
Like if the connection is really, really strong between the two of you, that could definitely be it. Or maybe this person was also dealing with other things in life that they needed to be strong for. And so they didn't have much leftover energy to give to you, which left you feeling a little bit confused um, for some of them. For others of them, it could completely be a different reason here. Um, but yeah, also Leo showing up. Let's see the Ace of Wands for their current energy. All right, the Page of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Cups. This person's holding on to some kind of fear. Why are they holding on to fear? Um, it's like they're trying to think rationally, but they can't because there's a fear that is prohibiting them from being able to think more maturely or more rationally because they're still in this page energy. Definitely wanting um, this new potential with you. I mean, I feel like their intentions are good, right? We also have the Two of Cups indicating that they do have these strong feelings for you. They do want this connection, but, but they're stuck in their head a little bit about something here. So it's like they do want that shift. They do want that change, but it's... There's something going on within their own minds that they need to resolve in order to fully be able to make this happen and to complete it. And something's definitely blowing up here because they have the tower coming up. Um, <clears throat> let's, but let's see the world for you first, for what is coming up in your energy. Let's see the world, the Cancer. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, and Knight of Wands. Some of you might also be dealing with a fire sign, because I do feel like we have a pretty strong fire element in this reading, but of course could be any sign, because um, we do have Leo showing up twice. We also have Sagittarius, and then we do have just more fire showing up. So yeah, definitely let me know. Um, Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I feel like you're 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 being patient right now, but you're just going to be d done waiting. This person is making an effort, but I don't know how well they're going to follow through. Um, for now, okay, in the very like immediate future, okay, which is like the current energies here, I feel like they're still not going to be exactly where you would want them to be, even though you're being patient. And I feel like, you know, you're just going to be like, I just don't want to wait anymore. I don't feel like you're, I don't know if you're completely walking away from this. Maybe, maybe some of you are. Um, I'm not getting that all of you are completely walking away with this, especially with that Knight of Wands. I think, um, I think Aquarius got that too. And I said the same thing, um, but you're done dealing with this kind of a cycle. And I feel like that's why we have to pause. You're like, you know what? Just pause, press pause on this until, you know, things are sorted until we see, you know, what's going on here. And I feel like what you're going to see is this person experiencing this tower. So let's clarify the tower. Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person's going to have some kind of a crisis, especially when it comes to their emotions. Um, they're going to fully feel very intensely, very intensely, okay, um, emotionally. And it's going to be related to the lack of this effort. But see, now we have the Eight of Pentacles showing up, which is actually putting in that effort. So this tower is actually pushing them to 
put in effort to work and focus on this Queen of Cups, right? Which is also you. Yeah, I feel like this reading is kind of similar to Aquarius. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. I don't know. Let's see the moon. What the potential outcome here? Which is Pisces. The Ace of Pentacles. We have another Ace. The Five of Cups and the Six of Swords. All right, okay. So yeah, it definitely feels like it's going to be unexpected. I feel like it, it's going to feel unexpected to you to just stop waiting because at the moment it feels like, you know, you're you're feeling like, okay, you know, we're starting over, this is a new beginning, I'm being patient, this person is working towards this, and then, and then it's just going to be unexpected that you're just not gonna wanna wait anymore um, because this person just isn't really following through. For them, it's going to be unexpected that you're not there anymore or not waiting for them, just not giving in the same amount of energy that you were before. So that's unexpected for them as well. And then it's like there's another shift here. So it's like all unexpected, like the one right after the other. I do see this potential, right? The Ace of Pentacles showing back up again, like, okay. <laughs> um, this is, you know, definitely a possibility, but... But yeah, it's also coming in with this sense of sense of loss, sense of grief, which I feel is on the other person's side here. Because you're the one that's closing out that cycle. And so I do see that there is this potential though to leave the past in the past and to start over, to start again, all right, with the Six of Swords, it's like moving to calmer waters, leaving that Five of Cups energy behind as well. But it's like basically, it's still not known or not meant to be revealed yet. What exactly is happening um, further down? So I can't argue with spirit on that. <laughs> All right, it's the moon. Some things are just not meant to be known 100% for the future. And of course, we create our own futures as well, and it does depend on everybody's free will, so... But yeah, that's where things seem to be moving towards. Alright, Cancer. It was a little complicated, huh? Let's see, if this resonated with you, the final message for you is, choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. So yeah, and I feel like, you know, that's also representative of what this other person that you're dealing with um, is doing. And if they're not, well, then you have to choose love, right? Which would be yourself, your own self-love. Or make sure that what you do choose is also giving you love or supporting you in love. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.